Examining the ear is the primary method used to diagnose patient complaints for the entire ear, nose, and throat complex. The otoscope helps you magnify the details and definition of the ear canal and the tympanic membrane. The basic steps are the same for most otoscopes, but we'll be showing you how to use our Wide View Welsh Allen Macro View Plus Otoscope. We've designed the Macro View Otoscope so you can see a three times larger viewing area of the ear canal and tympanic membrane when compared to the view through a traditional otoscope, plus long-lasting LED illumination for bigger, brighter views. Now, let's move on to the exam. With any ear exam, you will want the patient to sit down and slightly tilt their head away from you to obtain easier access to their ear. Attach an ear speculum sized to best fit the patient. Disposable specula for the macro view are available in a variety of sizes. Turn the speculum clockwise till it's secure. All Welsh Allen power handles have a dimming rheostat. To start, turn the scope on to full intensity. You may want to adjust the brightness later for improved view. There are two common ways to hold the otoscope, and it's all a matter of preference. Some clinicians choose to hold the otoscope like a hammer, gripping the power supply handle between your thumb and forefinger close to the light source. Use your pinky and a ring finger to help brace against the patient. With this technique, if the patient turns or moves, your hand can move with the patient's head to help prevent injury. For more control, some clinicians choose to hold the otoscope like a pencil between the thumb and a forefinger with the ulnar aspect of the hand resting firmly but gently against the patient's cheek. With this technique, if the patient turns or moves, your hand can move with the patient's head to prevent injury. It's best practice to examine the healthy ear first. This allows you to see the patient's normal ear anatomy and compare the other ear while helping to prevent the spread of infection. Straighten the outer ear canal to make insertion of the speculum easier. For adults, retract the pinna upwards and backwards. Guide the otoscope into the patient's ear to view the canal and tympanic membrane. It may be necessary to adjust the position of the otoscope to get a complete view of the entire ear canal and all areas of the tympanic membrane. You can now capture digital images of the ear exam using our MacroView Plus and our Welsh Allen Eye Examiner Smart Bracket coupled with your smart device. With your smart device attached to your smart bracket, align to the grooves on the back of your exam tool and clip it in vertically or horizontally, like so. Follow the same steps as you would with an optical exam, guiding the otoscope in the patient's ear to view the canal and tympanic membrane. Capture moments of the exam, and then afterwards, scroll through and find the best images to review and share for consultation and patient education. Pneumatic otoscopy helps detect ear effusion or fluid behind the eardrum, which can be a sign of infection. The optional insufflator bulb attaches to the side of the Welsh Allen MacroView Plus. Use Welsh Allen soft seal disposable sealing tips over Welsh Allen ear specula for a tighter seal against the ear canal wall during pneumatic otoscopy. Use the insufflator bulb to gently puff air at the thin membrane. A lack of movement may be a sign that fluid is present, even if it's not visible.